Today I'm going to show you what we medical physicists work with at my external radiotherapy department here in Lund. My name is Musti and I'm a medical physicist and a PhD student working here. I have also attached some links below in case you would like to know more about us and our research. So to give you an overview of what we medical physicists do, I created this map with different sections and responsibilities that we are involved in. And I'm here to guide you through them all. So let's start. So we are more than 30 medical physicists here in Lund, focusing on different machines, patient groups, and also research topics. Some of us are also involved in administrative work and tasks, but today we will not focus on that. So let's start with the left side, the clinical work section. Since we are a comprehensive cancer center, we have to work with many, many protocols. And these protocols can range from educational up to diagnostic and uh, patient-specific protocols. And these protocols have to be updated regularly based on what we need in our clinic, the development in the radiotherapy field, or other European guidelines that we have to be aware of. So to keep track of all these different documents and protocols, we have actually created an internal website at our clinic so that uh, everyone working here have access to this information and can search for relevant information and find it quickly. However, in the future, I wish we can connect ChatGPT or other deep learning models just to facilitate finding this information. Uh, but I'm very curious about what you guys use in your clinics in case you have a, a similar system of like an internal website or do you still use papers? I would love to hear from you about what you do in your clinic. So tell us in the comments. Alrighty, let's move on to the decision making part. Here in Lund, we have many treatment machines and actually we are in the process of getting even new ones. But here is an overview of our current and main treatment machines that we have here in Lund. We have eight true beams from Varian. Six of them are equipped with SGRT solutions from CRAD and the other two are equipped with exact track systems from BrainLab. We have two machines from Acre, a RAD exact and a Tuma HD machine. They are also equipped with the SGRT solutions from CRAD. We also have an IX LENAC and a flash radiotherapy machine we're currently using for research purposes only. Beside the LENACs, we also have two brachytherapy rooms, one three Tesla MRI machine from GE and two CT scanners from Siemens. The CT scanners are equipped with a Sentinel surface scan system from CRAD, and this Sentinel system is actually very useful in case you do the IBH treatments or for the CT scans for your patients in your clinic. So with all these different machines, we are capable of delivering so many different treatments like stereotactic body radiotherapy, MRI only, 3D CRT, IMRT, VMAT, and even total body, total marrow, and total skin irradiations but also proton treatments. Just a side note for the proton treatments, we actually do all the treatment planning here and the fixation, but we send our patients to Uppsala, which is a city close to Stockholm, where we have our proton uh, center there. So for us to learn to be knowledgeable on all these machines, we are actually divided into different task groups, where each group is specialized in knowing everything about the treatment machines, the challenges, the benefits for certain patient groups. And we also have diagnostic groups where these physicists are involved in discussions with the oncologists and RTTs just to always optimize the treatment for these specific patient groups. Because as you might expect, every one of these treatment machines comes with its own set of challenges and benefits that you have to be aware of as a medical physicist to assist in decision making in the clinic and most importantly support the RTTs and an oncologist. And since we're talking about assisting in the clinic, this brings us to the assisting in treatment planning, which is one of the primary tasks for us medical physicists here in Lund. We actively participate in reviewing and assisting in optimizing the treatment plans that are made by our dosimetrists. In Sweden, we call them treatment planners. We also assist our oncologist in supporting which treatment plan that's most suitable for this specific patient based on the specific anatomy and the cancer case. Now, beside the treatment planning, we also have the radiation protection responsibility. We are considered to be the main experts when it comes to radiation protection in the hospital. So all the plant quality control, machine control, and patient dosimetry has to be either performed by a medical physicist or at least be approved by us. Now, just a quick note before we move on, I have to admit that what you see here in the clinical work section, this is just as like a, a quick overview of what we are actually involved in in the clinic. Because thanks to our broad set of skills, we can actually be involved in so many aspects in the clinical work. Uh, but yeah, there is not enough uh, time to cover it here. But you're more than welcome to ask. All right, let's move on to my favorite part, the research section. So as some of you might know that Lund is well known for its research on radiotherapy because we are a university hospital. So we have a long experience in radiotherapy. We 
have published so many articles and you can also visit them in the links below by the way and so when it comes to the research we also offer phd positions so that the one i have right now is 50 percent phd position in the clinic and 50 percent just working in the clinic as a medical physicist we also have to maintain collaborations between different research centers and companies to facilitate producing more research and actually develop the field of radiotherapy now honestly personally i feel like these collaborations are the one of the most crucial parts in radiotherapy because they can help us develop the field and most importantly, share the knowledge with other centers and countries that maybe don't have access to the same technology or knowledge as us. So I would love to hear what you guys think about the collaborations too when it comes to your research centers and hospitals. Anyway, so some of our research right now focus mainly on AI, online adaptive radiotherapy, flash radiotherapy, and other topics in the clinic that can help us um, improve our workflow and utilize our clinical resources in a better way than we did before. Some other projects also focus on improving the decision making and make it easier for our oncologists to segment images and maybe um, kind of predict the outcomes for certain patients based on the toxicity or maybe other kind of data that we have in our clinic. So when it comes to myself, I'm actually very passionate right now in using AI in the decision making part of this research because I feel like this is the future. Uh, we will using AI tools to support our decision-making. Uh, and right now I'm focusing on using image analysis and image data instead of table or data. So I work a lot with CT scans, CBCT scans, and uh, other type of images to be able to tell something about the patient anatomy in the future. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I hope that you learned something new. And uh, thank you so much for voting on LinkedIn too about what topics you would like to see. I would love to hear more from you in the future to know what you'd like to see in our clinic or just some topics in radiotherapy that you find complex before and you need someone to like explain them uh, to you. So yeah, don't forget to click on the links below in case you'd like to know more about us. And thanks for watching.